Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to explain to you what OEM stands for and what it means to you. We'll let the cat right out of the bag here in the first 10 seconds. It's Original Equipment Manufacturer OEM. That would include companies like NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, Crucial, Western Digital, Seagate. These guys make the hardware and then they sell the hardware in bulk to companies like Hewitt Packard and Dell. They assemble all these pieces of hardware together to make that pretty little computer you got there. And then they do all the support. For example, recently I bought wheels and rims for my Wrangler. When I went in there to get the wheels, if they weren't what I wanted, I'm not calling the rim manufacturer. I'm not calling the tire manufacturer. The guy at the shop that sold me the stuff is going to make it right. That's what Hewitt Packard and Dell does. They do all the support, drivers, etc. for you. There's a lot of money involved in this because you know they have tech support online phone they make their money when they sell their computer but keep in mind that they also add a lot of third-party tools and when you buy them they get a commission they keep making money and I'm okay with that but if you don't need them get them out of there most importantly if you want to look at your drivers after about one year they'll stop updating their drivers meaning you have to go and find them yourselves you can use driver booster that's what I use you can find that on major geeks but you can see, for example, their Intel graphics driver. I know we have one from late 2019, December. So they may have stopped updating this already. And even if they haven't, they're almost always months and months behind. The drivers have to come out. The drivers have to be certified by Microsoft. The company then sometimes brands the drivers to fit your computer. So by the time you get it, you're behind. So if drivers are important to you, you after a year, you want to start getting them yourself with driver booster or by looking up at least sound, video, and motherboard drivers so the only exception is often the BIOS as you can see they updated this in December 2019 because it's very important sometimes computers break and they don't want to spend all their time on tech support with a computer they don't sell anymore when they can just get you the BIOS update and of course if you're not familiar with BIOS updates you only update them when you have a problem but they will keep that up so keep that in mind as well on major geeks you can actually go to drivers right there go to driver specific and you can look and find your Intel chipset drivers, your NVIDIA drivers. Just go for your layers. Intel graphics driver right there. Intel network drafters. Don't forget those. So on and so forth. Wireless Bluetooth software. Logitech stuff, of course, that's different. But uh, NVIDIA. We always have the NVIDIA up to date here. You can also go to the driver category. And if you look at driver updates, updaters excuse me we use driver booster which is right here and that'll get you going so another thing to consider is antivirus there's a lot of money involved in that how much money Norton's just sold in December 19 for 10.7 billion dollars and you got to figure people don't use their computers like they used to so the company's probably only a fraction of their size although they bought lifelock and all that stuff that's a lot of money 10.7 billion so if you have it check this link right here and just scroll down the video description you'll see it to this page and scroll down what to do when it expires we have a video tutorial on that and if you scroll down there's your iobit uninstaller if you have mcafee or norton's there's the removal tools windows uninstaller does not work very well so you want to make sure you fully uninstall it once you reboot take a look over here in the right corner you see that windows security that takes over windows security is built into windows 10 it is free antivirus as you can see, account, firewall protection, app and browser control, device security, family options, and more. And it's free. There are a few that we'd use, but there's hardly any free antivirus anymore. That ship has sailed. The ones that are free are very, very crippled. Bitdefender and maybe Kaspersky are the top two if you feel like spending your money. And I'd probably roll towards Bitdefender. So make sure you remember to uninstall. And again, I like to use IOBit uninstaller. And you can click through and remove all the third-party apps that were added that slow down your computer. That's kind of the problem with it. They're making a lot more money after they sold it to you. And it comes with a price of a bloated computer. So there you have it. There's a little information on OEM so that you understand it. Once again, Dell, HP, they just buy a bunch of hardware, put it together, and then sell it to you. But a lot of times you can't buy that hardware yourself and make the same computer for the same price. So a lot of times there's value in there with the trade-offs we've discussed. So there's more information you ever needed to know for what an OEM stand means. 
As always, bottom right corner, the Major Geeks logo pops up. You can click subscribe and click like if we helped you out. And leave a comment. We're always glad to answer any questions if we missed anything. And we always miss something, you know. Thanks for watching, as always. See ya.